Hi guys, good to have you all back. Welcome to another episode of Junkie June. My junk item for today is empty tissue boxes. Yes, I've been collecting quite a few of them. Um, this video is going to be inspired by Natasha from Treasure Books. She did a video <clears throat> where she repurposed uh, the tissue boxes. She did all sorts and I loved the video, so I started collecting them. Um, in the hopes that one day I was going to do a project. Now, this morning I looked up the video because I wanted to make sure that it was Natasha. And it was. But the video is already three years old. So I've been sort of procrastinating for three years. It is time. Today it's time. I'm going to do something with empty tissue boxes. Okay, let me tell you what we're making. I think I'm going to keep it simple. I just want to make a journal with a, a big window just a journal cover i'm gonna fill it with lovely papers and such so let's make a journal out of an empty tissue box now tissue boxes come in different shapes and sizes i'm gonna give you um my size but honestly guys if yours is a little bit off because this is from a different brand and it's a little bit smaller than these ones quite all right you can adjust it to your own size yes okay for the supplies for today, let me show you. Well, you're going to need an empty tissue box. I have several ones. This is my absolute favorite. So I'm inspired by this one. Uh, if you have something like this with not so pretty paper, you can cover it, lovies. I'm going to cover uh, parts of it for sure. Uh, mainly the inside and, and out and this and this I'm going to cover. But you can basically cover everything. Yes, so I'm going to use this pretty one with the flowers. So I was thinking, I need something pretty. And this reminded me of um, some papers. Well, actually a whole release from um, Studio Light last year. I don't know, what was it called? Let's take it out. It was called Romantic Moments. I got the full release, yeah, and I've hardly used it. And I think, well, it's just, you know, pretty. So I'm going to use some lovely scrapbook paper. What you need is scrapbook paper. Yes, for this I'm going to use um, probably two pages. This is double-sided. Double-sided would be fantastic. Um, what also came with this release was acetate. Acetate. And this is printed on. It has some white acetate and some uh, black. I think I'm going to use white because I want to make it... well pretty so a piece of acetate for the window i'm gonna make a window of course from the big oval so <clears throat> scrapbook paper i am going to make signatures in here lobbies uh use any paper that you have but i also have well these <laughs> everything is single-sided i'm going to try to find a solution for this there's going to be lots of solutions for single-sided papers but i'm going to make a signature out of this but by all means lovies use scraps make it grungy make it in any color and uh, in any style that you want um it also came with i'm going to utilize lots of it with some beautiful stamps so i'm probably going to stamp something on here it had all sorts of die cuts that i'm probably not going to use no, no, no die cuts. Uh, and some stencils. So I might, because it has the, the pages are white on the back. So I might do some stenciling and stamping. And who knows? So for paper, you need scrapbook paper and um, uh, paper for signature. Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, tools. Let me show you the tools. I'm going to use the usual suspects. I have a ruler, a knife. I have, where's my glue? I have glue, scissors. I will use my cropodal because my journal is going to have uh, an elastic binding. Elastic binding. Corner rounder, yes. Um, I'll be inking. My choice of ink for today is Freight Burlap. It is really Freight Burlap, not another color. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the other tools, well, the other items, I am going to use some washi, some washi tape for uh, for the spine. And I think this one from 49er Market goes very well um, with Studio Light one. Yes, so I'm going to mix it up. <clears throat> some elastic 
for the elastic binding. It actually doesn't need to be elastic lobbies. No, you can make it from some other woolly or what have you. But I have some lovely woolly um, elastic binding. I uh, need four eyelets. I'm going to make two signatures. So I have some lovely pink eyelets. And I think I want to uh, decorate the spine. So I have... Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Cutesies. Cutesy beads. <laughs> Cutesy beads. Not necessary at all. Is that it? Well, I have this tool. Do not ask me the name of this tool. Um, but you can also use a, a pencil or, or something. Because uh, I'm going to show you why. I need to sort of score something. Yeah? Is that it? I think so. I think so. Uh, for glue, I will use... Um, Art glitter glue or barely art glue because I'm going to glue acetate. Yeah? Is that it? I think so. I think so. We're going to have fun. Let's get going. Okay. Take out a tissue box. Just empty it out if you have a full. Just empty it out. You have a runny nose. Just empty it out. Okay. Let me get my tissue box. I've already opened mine up. And I'm going to show you what I did because it has sort of a, a natural fold here well this is where the the box is attached so i used it instead of just cutting it open and it will work for this project that i have in mind just gonna do not rip it because we're gonna need this uh piece so i'm gently going to hopefully remove this yes see i open it up here now i'm going to cut some pieces off what are you going to cut off yes hopefully you have the same shape that'll be lovely i am going to cut off all the top parts except for this one this small flappy here your flappy might be on this side loves depends on what box you have but you have one the, the box has a, a top a bottom and two sides i'm going to need one of the two sides not the one that's in the middle, of course. One that's at an end. So let's just take this one off first. I'm For this, I'm just going to use my ruler knife. You could also use, if you want to, uh, a paper trimmer. But you know, this works best for me. Okay. If your side has these flappies, keep them. I'm going to utilize them. Yes. The other parts... I need to cut off. So I'm going to cut off all the top flappies. And if your box has this, uh, the sort of hinge flap. Yeah. So I'm going to cut these off and the one on the side. So I have the flappy. I took off all the other flappies. I'm keeping these. Now, uh, mine has a lovely print. If yours is not that lovely, um, you can cover everything up. I'm going to use these. I'm going to make these into small pocket tuck spots. So I'm going to keep these. I'm not throwing these out yet because I might make tabs out of them. This could work as a tab. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. But this one is going to be... Um, well, this is going to be the cover. This is going to be the spine. I'm going to alter it because I do not want this big of a journal. No? No. <clears throat> and this is going to be um, a pocket. Yes? Side-loading pocket with gussets. So, fantastic. Okay, speaking of spine, uh, I, I don't want this big of a spine. I want a smaller spine. So here's what I'm doing. Dangerous. <laughs> it's going to be dangerous. <clears throat> I have measured my spine, which is two and a half inches. I'm going to divide it by two. So it's going to be one and a quarter inch. Yes, one and a quarter inch. I am going to do this with my paper trimmer. I'm going to cut this in half. What? Yes, I'm going to cut it in half. Because we can make it we can make the spine smaller by half and also reinforce it at the same time. What? Yes, really. Well, really, I think so. That's my idea. So I'm taking out the paper trimmer. You could also do the ruler and knife trick with your mat lobbies. Utilize your mat. Yes. So I'm hoping this is one and a quarter otherwise we can sort of adjust it later that's not a problem okie dokie there we go 
This is going to be the front cover. This is going to be the back cover. The back cover I am going to really lovely decorate. I'm just going to glue these two, see, together. Small spine, reinforced spine, win-win situation. Yes, now if you're going to do the same lovies, don't do it like this. Because the print doesn't sort of, you know, do it like this. Looks nicer, looks way nicer. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm just going to glue it down. There we go. Let's just make uh, the base. Using art glitter glue for this. Now my box is a little bit shiny. Not a lot, but I don't really mind. I don't really mind. I think it's going to be fine. Come on, you can do it. Yes, make sure everything still folds up. It does. It does. Well, and you're done. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Now, guys, if you are going to cover the whole thing, here's what you do. You take out your piece of paper that you want on the front. I'm not going to use uh, this part. Yes, you cut it to size and then you draw here or you take your knife and you cut it out. I'm going to utilize the print on the top. However, um, this does have all these sort of ridges. And I'm thinking, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out <laughs> this one that I'm not using. Will this work? Take out your emery board or... Oh my gosh, that works like a charm. So yes, I have my sanding disc. Yes, I'm going to take away these sort of... Can you see? Yes, this. Oh, that's fantastic. Another great use for your sanding disc thingies. Careful, we do not want to rip it. It's just to take away these sort of things that are sticking out. Fantastic. If you don't have these two lovies. Um, this will work as well or just some sanding paper it's a little bit more here do we want to ink it i think so also gonna ink it going to ink the inside okay now i want to cover some stuff up here's what i want to do there's going to be a panel on the back there's going to be a panel here now for the panel here you need uh, double-sided paper because what I want to do is put acetate here first then a double-sided panel leave it open on the top so it's also a top loading pocket so it's going to be an acetate window pocket yeah make any sense I'm not gonna cover this nor this because I absolutely love this I might do a little bit of decorating but I'm going to cover this okay but I'm going to Start first with ink. I'm going to try to ink this, lovies, just uh, on the inside. And then the acetate window. I did ink sort of on the inside and tried to ink all around it. This is, of course, a little bit glossy paper, but it did work. It did work, but it will not hold heavy, heavy ink. So uh, I have my window. I want to see what I want in the window. So I was there. There are lovely ladies on here. So we could have this lady here. Very lovely. Or we could have this la same lady. But I think the colors on here are just the same. So I think I'm going to go for this lady. I think she's really, really lovely. But then I want... This is going to be um, in the background. It's going to be acetate on it. I've taken out a couple of pieces. But that's the same lady. So I'm going to go for the middle part. I'm hoping you can see lovies. It has some text and some roses. Now... Um, let's pretend that this is going to be a card that's going to be in here. Now you see the text, see? Very pretty. So I'm going to use this as the uh, window and then this as the pocket. So what's the on the other side on here? Lovely pink. Pink works all the time. What is on the other side of this? Oh, that's also pretty. Maybe I like this better. I'm doubting, I'm doubting myself now. Are we going to do her? Mm, 
Oh, we're gonna do her. I'm sorry, changed my mind. Because I just like the backs of the paper um, better. Yes, but will it will it work? I need to take off the tiniest bit because I want her in frame. Okay, so need to do two things. I need to cut a piece to size bigger lobbies than the oval, like um, half an inch bigger and taller, because I do not want to put glue there, but I want to put glue actually where the sort of paper used to be. Yes, so I'm going to cut this to size, going to figure it out where I want it. And then the, the complete length lobbies. Yes, so not just a piece on the inside. No, the complete length. So we need... I'm going to do it like so. Oh, let me do it on camera. Why not? Okay, this is going to be my window. Yes, line it up on the bottom. So I need to cut here. I need to cut here. Yes, because this piece we're gonna lose and I need to cut here. Yes, so I need to cut this out and then I'm going to do sort of see what will work with the text and the roses. Okay, let me cut this out. I've cut my two pieces to size. Now, lovies, this is going to be flipped over. This is going to be the inside. I did make it the tiniest bit smaller here because it needs to be folded up. Yes, so keep that in mind. Just take off the tiniest bit there. We will cover this up, this piece here with washi tape. So it doesn't really matter. She's on here, yes. And then this is going to be on the inside. There's text on here, so be sure you glue down the right way. So I'm going to glue this on here, not on this edge, lovies, just take the outer perimeter. I'm not going to put glue on here, I'm going to put glue on the box. Why am I not gluing towards the, the center? Because when I'm going to glue it down, I'm going to press it and then the glue will go... <laughs> And you will see it. You will see it. Okay. You get one go. Love, you get one go. And I know Art Glitter Glue will hold this. Yes. Okay. This is our window. Cool. Oh my god so cool and then she's gonna be in here fantastic okay i do not need to ink this but i do need to ink this yeah so i'm just gonna take out my frayed burlap i think that goes very well with this um, collection with these colors yes i'm not rounding corners on these i will probably round corners on the on the signatures there we go. I'm going to make this into a top loading pocket. Also not making a notch uh, because I don't want to see this. Well, you could put something there and make a notch, but I'm not going to. Also, you cannot make a notch. It's the cover. You cannot make an. Oh, you could make a notch here. No. See, I'm having a sort of discussion with myself. Okay. Do not put glue all over. No. Put glue on the outer edges, not the top. Hmm, putting on glue, but I changed my mind. I'm going to tell you why in a sec. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it to dry, guys, because I figured something out. Um, with this collection also came this. What are you going to do with this? Well, you could make a closure. I'm not going to make a closure, but I'm thinking I actually want to put like a big bow here. I want to put a big bow here. I'm just going to put it like so, so that you can see. Like a big bow here on the top. But for this, I'm going to make two small holes. Yes, and then pull the ribbon through. 
but that worked better if this wasn't already glued on. That's why I'm I am pausing the video. Okay, I'm going to put in two small holes. Yes, I'm gonna figure out what the middle is and then a little bit, you know, there. And then pull a rib ribbon through with a bow. Oh my gosh, going to be so cute. Punched two small holes, yes. I'm doing the, the minty green, not the pink because it's already maybe a little bit too lovely. And I'm just gonna pull it through. Hello. Oh, uh, yes, I'm going to use my this, <laughs> my enormous needle threader. Yes, fantastic tool. Saves me a lot of stress. And then I'm going to make a pretty bow. Pretty bow. Probably gonna make it prettier later, but have a bow on it now. Oh my gosh, looks like an Easter egg now. But it's cute, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna re-glue this. <laughs> gonna re-glue this, guys, and then... Oh my gosh, yes, lovely. I'm gonna glue her in. So cute, <laughs> so cute. Oh, this would look lovely with some Holly Hobby paper or something. Yes, really cute. Okay, I need two more panels, not here. Here I'm gonna use the tape. So I need a big panel here. I'm going to use this with the bicycle. We're gonna lose a bit of the bicycle because there's also going to be a pocket here. We're gonna keep the house. So this a panel here. Unfortunately, I do not have enough uh, left for the last panel, which is going to be on the back. On the back, I'm going to use this page. I could put this here, but I also want to put on the pockets. These pockets mm, could work. One here and one here. But I was thinking maybe I do this. Oh, way better, way better. So I'm going to make two panels uh, lobbies. One here from this paper and one with a bicycle. This paper again, because this folds in. It needs to be a little, the tiniest bit smaller than uh, the crease there. So I'm lining it up, leaving the tiniest bit of room here. So this can fold up. Yeah. Okay. A little bit more. And I'm just marking it here and marking it here. So I'm going to cut this out and then this one for the back. I have my two panels and lots of lovely scrappies. Yes. So, well, I'm going to glue this on. Normally, I'd leave a little bit of room all around. I'm going to glue this as close to the edge as possible, leaving a little bit of room there. Do not look at the back. Good thing this um, paper pack had two of each. So, I have one more. <laughs> so, I can use both of them. Uh, you can make this into a top loading pocket as well if you want to. I'm not going to. Or even a side loading pocket. But it will, will already have a pocket. So, All the way to the edge. All the way to the bottom. Line it up everywhere. It's not sticking out. There we go. Isn't it pretty? Yes, I am a little bit sad that we're going to cover up the bicycle. But, you know, the pocket's going to be awesome as well. Okay, and then this is going to be glued on the back. Fantastic. It is so pretty. Yes, maybe even a little bit too pretty for me. I have these three pieces, lovies. I'm going to make uh, pockets. I'm going to make pockets with these. Yes, I'm going to put one on the bottom and one a little bit higher on the back. Yeah, inked uh, all around it. I'm just going to glue them on on three sides. There we go. Sort of talk spots. Bottom one. Now, if your tissue box did not have a lovely print... Um, you can cover this with paper if you want to, or just make paper pockets, loves. There we go. And then 
this one. I'm going to put the flaps on the inside, inked all around it. Is there a top or a bottom? No, I'm going to have it on like so. I'm going to put lots of glue on these. Oops, on these flappies. And then on one side. Do not be stingy with the glue because this needs a lot of glue. Especially here on the edges. Okay. Well, now it's upside down anyway. <laughs> but that's okay. There wasn't an up, a real up or a down, I believe. And then I'm going to glue them on with the flaps on the inside, of course. So pretty. Again, if you don't have a lovely design, I look for them when I buy my tissue boxes. I'm like, what is the prettiest one? This was the prettiest one I've ever seen. <laughs> so I took this one. Now we have a lovely side loading pocket. Yes, uh, with a little bit of room because there's gusset uh, in there. So you can actually put something in. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Um, we need tape for reinforcing and covering this up. So let me get some tape. Unfortunately, my tape is three inches and this is, I need two. So I need to cut it to size, but I have my mat. I have a ruler and a knife, so it will work. It's almost like this tape was made for it, right? This was Tranquility, vintage artistry. Okay, it's too wide. Yes, you can see that my spine is, uh, what was it? One and a quarter inch. I'm going to put it on my mat like so. I think I want my tape to be like two inches. So it will cover a little bit here and a little bit here. Uh, and this is nine inches. Was this nine inches? Yes, nine. So I'm going to have it the tiniest bit longer. I'm going to take out a piece of 10 inches. Do not rip. Do not. And this is not going to rip, love. Is this AliExpress? No. So it's not going to rip. I'm going to measure it on my mat, like so. I'm going to make it a little bit longer because that works a little bit easier for me actually going to take off 10 inches yes because I put it on my mat I can see exactly where I need to cut it I think I want a lot of pink on here so I can cut it here however I'm going to go the tiniest bit higher are you no I'm just gonna cut it at two two is, two is fine love two is fine I'm left with a lovely strip. I might use it somewhere else. Okie dokie. Not using this at the minute. So this is going to go. What is stuck? Well, the tape. The tape itself. There you go. It's going to go over here. Just to keep it safe for now. I might use it later. Yes. But I really want to center it. So I am taking my tape. Is there an up or down? Have it the right side up, love. Yes. I'm going to need a little bit more glue. I'm going to tape my tape, the top end. There. Yes, I made it a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to match this up. I have so much trouble with centering um, tape on spines. I think this is my new favorite method. Mm -hmm. A little bit higher. Yeah. I'm going to add extra glue. A little bit of extra glue. Okay. Hopefully, there are equal parts on both sides now. Looks like, yes, need to trim it on the top and a little bit on the bottom. Now, here comes the tool. 
Here comes the tool. Really? Where? Okay, here. <laughs> you could use anything, lovies. We left a little bit of room in between. So I'm just going to sort of um, really press the tape in with this tool. Hoping you can see. Yes, really going to press it in. And here as well. So when we fold it now, it already has sort of a, a score. So there will not be, hopefully not be bubbles or wrinkles or what have you. Best use for this tool ever because I never use this. I'm going to cut from this side. There's one. Not a small piece. Oh yeah, see it's perfect. Equal sides now. That's what I like. And it's just like it's supposed to be there, right? Absolutely love it. Now we can sort of fold it, bend it, fold it, bend it. Fantastic. Um yes, I'm gonna do the um, elastic binding. Oh, already love it. For the elastic binding, in case you don't know, lovies, this is a perfect um, way to make signatures, to take them out, put them back in. If you want to do uh, a little bit of decorating on them and you don't have enough room or space, or take stuff out of the signature or add into the signature. So I absolutely love this sort of binding. Now I use uh, eyelets for this. I, I'm going to make two signatures. So I need to make two holes on the top yes and then two holes on the bottom now make sure they're in the same spot or almost the same spot it doesn't really matter if they're off the tiniest bit love each but you know have them in sort of the same spot so i'm going to punch four holes using my cropper dial i'm going to use a setting you can set them. See, this is what this tool is for. This one is, well, it doesn't, it's not even on anymore. <laughs> Lost this one somehow. I don't know. Uh, but you can um, have this as a setting. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make four holes and then I'm going to punch them in. My eyelets are in and I've taken off a piece of the elastic. Almost four times the, the, the height of the journal. Love it. One, two three and three and a half because also want a little bit of tension on it now i'm going to have fun with this which means i'm going to do an experiment i'm going to do an experiment I'm going to start from the inside if you start from the inside you'll end the inside there you go i'm going to line this up yes on the inside, it's going to have straight lines on the outside however i want them to cross to cross and also have beads on them. I have these. Now I'm going to sort of play around with it. I want to have some beads here, then one in the middle that will have, um, that will tie these together. So I want to have beads here, beads here, here and here. I'm going to start here. And uh, this is going to go on the bottom. How am I going to do it? This goes in here. This goes over like so. Okay. So I think it's like this. But I do not know for sure. If I do this, it's going to be on the top. So this needs to be last on. Thinking. Might need to change it about, lovies. So I'm using this tool. You could do it by hand if you want to. I'm not going to. Is this what I wanted? Yes. Butterfly first. There you go. Then here on the top. I need the butterfly on the top. So that's going to go. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I might need to do it again. Hello love. There we go. Pinky one. 
purple one and this one. Oh, that's the wrong color. I need this color. I sort of want them to be the same. This isn't this is not gonna work. I, I'm needing to do it the other way around. Do you? Yes, of course. Because I want the butterfly on the top. Probably babbling, lovies. I'm sorry. This goes here. And this one goes here. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Then... I'm going to add the one in the middle. I'm going to have a greenish butterfly in the middle, in the center. And these have big holes in them, lobbies. Yes, and then from the other side. Is there room? We're gonna make room. Did this work? Let's see. Oh, well, this needs to be more to the towards the top, in the center, of course. It did. It did. See? Now I'm going to do beads here and beads here. All the beads are on. It's just. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. It is probably a little bit too cute. I'm gonna put a little bit of tension on it. Yes. We still need to be able to put something under. Tension, tension, tension. Yes. It's too long, but that's quite alright because we can cut it down later. Yes. And this will hold, so I'm gonna, probably going to cut these down. And then we have a lovely this. <laughs> I know. I'm going to make it even cuter, lobbies. Yes, because, you know, the damage already has been done. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Really like it. Yes. So I'm not going to take off a lot. Just this. And then we will have two signatures underneath here. I'm going to do something else to the cover. Because I was thinking. Oh, I love this color. Do I have anything else in this color? I do. I have these. I've had these for years. Bought them uh, at Action 100 years ago. And I was thinking. To do with this. I know, right? So cute. Not my normal style, uh, but I like it anyway. So I'm going to put these on, probably with my glue gun, with Drippy. I'm going to put this on, yes? But first, let's sort of uh, focus on the signatures. The signatures I'm going to make from the papers. Now, I have three smaller paper pads. This is paper elements that are already cut. Um... I am not in love with these. Why? Because if you... Let's just take one out. Um, if you take them out, they have a little... Well, a big white border all around it. I'm not a big fan of that, but... I'm going to try to embrace it. Then I have one of this. Yeah. And this has um, solids. And then this that you need to cut out. Could do this. Not a fan either. And also has these sort of cards, uh, sort of ATC cards and a uh, landscape and four of them. So I might use this for some embellishing or making pockets. But for the signatures, I'm going to use this. Now, I know everything is single sided. I'm just going to embrace it. I'm just going to embrace it. I'm going to take out one of each uh, design. One, two, probably use already one of them. Uh, three, I'm going to have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five each. Let's see. My journal is nine tall but the signatures is going to, are going to be a little bit smaller because this is not all the way to the top and this not all the way to the top so this is probably eight which would be a perfect size right and then also 
uh, the width of this is four and a half. And these are eight by eight. So if I fold them in, like I'm going to do now, they're actually eight by four. Which will probably make it, hopefully, will make it the perfect size. Yes. <laughs> yes, the perfect size. So um, let's just fold. Uh, what was this? 10, right? Let's fold five of them. And let's see how big the signatures are. One, two. Solid one. Three. So this one. Four and not a pink one. Oh, let's do this. Five. Okay. No sewing. No clamping and sewing and what have you. Let's see. I'm gonna have this in between here. Well, you can take them out, put them in. You can do all sorts, lovies. I'm just gonna try to see if this is the where's my journal? The right amount of papers. I might do one more. I might do one more. Now, because it's white on the inside, you can do all sorts to decorate it. Uh, cover it up with uh, collage. Cover it up with stamping, inking, stenciling. And that's why it's fantastic that all of them can be taken out of the journal. I'm going to put these in and then let's have a quick look if I want to add more. Because I think there are more papers in here, more designs. Well, it should say on the, on the cover. 18 patterns. So, 9. Each signature. Wow, well, that, that should be a lot. I think I'm going to add just one more. One more with feeling. Yes. That was the last one. Oh, let's do a lovely blue one. And. Oh, did we already use this one? I cannot even remember now. Because that's the same one on the inside, right? I'm going to have it out anyway. Perfect. Okay. And here's what I'm doing, lovies. I am going to, on these, round all the corners first. And then ink all around them, at least on the outside. Not so much on the inside, because I have no clue what I'm going to do for uh, covering it up and decorating. Well, I have loads of stuff to decorate in this um, collection. So, yes. Let me do the corner rounding. I'm going to use my bigger one. Yes, on a bigger setting. 24 pages might have been a little bit too much. But that's the good thing about elastic bindings. Because if you have too many pages, take some out. If you have do not have enough pages or want to add some later, add some later. Yes. Also, when you want to do, um, for instance, some stamping uh, and you need a flat surface or some other mixed media. Or, you know, you just want to decorate it. Just take the page out. Decorate it, put it back. Yes. Also, bonus. Pretty. Yes. I think uh, elastic binding is my favorite way of making a journal because A, it is um, convenient. You can put in pages, take out pages. You, It's easy to do. Well, if you have a crop it out, easy to do. And also, pretty. Very pretty. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 24 uh, pages. Yes. <clears throat> 
I'm going to decorate all of them. However, I'm not going to decorate all of them on camera. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some supplies that I'm using and some techniques that I'm using. This is going to be completely outside of my comfort zone because this is not going to be vintagey or grungy or anything. This is going to be more scrapbooky and modern. But I think I have some supplies that will work. My biggest challenge is going to be to embrace the white. I am not going to cover up all the white. I'm going to use it because there's lots of white here. I have some white elastic binding. Also, I've taken out some of the small design elements, these, that have a rather large white border all around it. Normally this would bother me, still does, but okay. Embracing it. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to work. So I'm not going to go inking or covering everything up. However, I am going to make um, <coughs> pockets, tucks, belly bands, decorating. I'm gonna do decorating. Here are some old friends, old friends of mine. Let me show you. Yes, I'm gonna do this. I have some punches. The, I did not buy these in the shop, guys, because this is Martha Stewart. I don't uh, use these often enough. So I found these in a thrift shop. Quite a few of them because these can be expensive, love. It's expensive. <clears throat> so I'm going to make some borders on pockets and such. It's going to be so cutesy. Your brain's going to hurt. <clears throat> also, I've taken out um, some of the cards from the paper pad. So I'm actually using the paper pad. I've taken out um, one of the pages. Yes. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a side loading pocket. The page is four inches. I'm going to make this two and a half inches. Yes. You can put it on like so. But first off, I need to, because let's say, that for instance, I'm going to put it here. Yes. I need to round the corners first. Now. I have a corner rounder. I have a big corner rounder. Somewhere. I need to go find it. Rounding the corners. Yes, because then it will fit in nicely. And I'm just going to use my punch. One of the punches. Which one? Take one. Yes. Probably doing this wrong, lovies. I just always just line it up there. And then start punching. And line the designs up. Like so, I have a whole box of these, not just Martha Stewart, no, uh, all sorts of um, brands. And I I do find them regularly uh, at thrift shops and, and such, or flea markets, because people just want to get rid of them <laughs> for some reason. Um, line it up, love, line it up. And it took me a while, because I'm not used to these, to figure out how they work. Well, they work like so. See? Lovely. Let me go. Oh, here's my punch. It was underneath something. I used the setting 17 on the pages. So I'm going to use setting 17 on here as well. Taking out a page, a random page. Well, not really random. Something that works lovely with this pattern. Oh, let's do this. <clears throat> and then I am going to ink this, the outer edge. And I'm going to glue it on. See? Pocket. Yes, there's white left. But let's just enjoy the white. And I might add, um, you know, um, a lovely banner here. So I'm going to do, so do something completely outside of my comfort zone. So I'm going to use punches. I'm going to use uh, tape. I'm going to use the tape. I'm going to make pockets as well. Let me show you one that I've made earlier. Yes. Cut, cut it in half. Now, if you cut it in half, lovies, it is too big. Uh, because there's a fold here. So I've taken off a sliver like not even one one sixteenth of an of an inch so that it will fit. Rounded the corner. Yes, put in a notch. You could also use uh, one of your border punches. I'm gonna ink it and a pocket. Voila. So that's what I'm gonna do. And also there were some um of these solids in here, and I've tried it out. I've cut the solids to size and then rounded corners and ripped them. Now, normally I'd rip towards me. So there's going to be sort of a white border, this, a white border all around. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. So I ripped um, away from me and then you have this border and it will work as well. 
See? And then you can put in um, a lovely tag. Do a little bit of decorate uh, uh, journaling. A little bit of decorating. Put on a lovely lady and and a something. So yes, completely outside of my comfort zone. But I'm going to embrace it. Yeah. Oh, belly bands. Also going to make some belly bands uh, because I also had this punch. Tried it out. Yes, makes it this lovely, right? Yeah, uh, but not not like so. So I, I've cut out a, a strip. And then this is going to be a belly band. Yeah. Okay. Let me do my thing. Oh, a card. I need cards. There's loads in this collection. I think it's going to work. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Completely outside of my comfort zone. But I actually do really like the end result. It is so cutesy and pink and i do like uh cute and pink guys i wear pink all the time yes i love pink so no grunching today yes i put on the flowers another thing that i never do but i use them and a lovely bow yes i did not put in a, a big card guys because i just love the lady too much but there's acetate on here and an opening so i can um put in a card this is the spine with all the, <laughs> with all the lovelies it's just cute, right? Never done this before. I really like it. And then on the back, uh, I made the two pockets from the flaps from the actual tissue. This was a tissue box. Can you imagine? Yes. And I put in cards. I used only uh, stuff from this collection. It is an older one. I love it. It is from, I believe, last uh, spring. There we go. Then we open her up. I did not make a pocket here because I just really like this image. Two signatures. Now, most of the images um, of the design paper, I did not do anything to. Just on the pieces that were white. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Made a pocket. Two small cards. Yeah. Just put a banner here because already lovely. Then I made a torn pocket with an extra pocket. So you can put a card here. And a card here. I did not have enough cards to fill it. So I made some of my own. From um, the design paper that was left. So just some very simple decorating. I do like the end result. Um, a belly band. It was a bit boring. So I put a. This is apparently a hollyhock. Hollyhock. Yes. And then a lovely card behind it. Does look lovely. Like this. Right. Yeah. And then this one, I made tall, skinny uh, tags. Just very simple ones from um, some of the design paper. And just put uh, a lovely piece of decorating on. So no collaging and grunching and layering. Just simple. Yes. Did put this one on because this was one of the design papers. And I thought it was a little bit boring maybe, perhaps. I did some stamping. Yes, because it came with two or three stamps. Uh, this collection. So I just did some stamping. In uh, well, I used Arctic, lovely color blue. This is the center spread. This is just washi tape. Yes, I just washi tape. Wash. I washi taped the whole thing. Made my own design paper. Absolutely love it. It goes so well with this collection, right? Yes, same color, same style. Then I did a little bit of decorating. Another pocket. With one of the lovely cards. You can do all sorts of decorating. Inking, stamping. Whatever you want. Just one piece of decorating. Uh, a side loading pocket. With another lovely card. Yes. This is just a sort of a decoration. I did leave a little bit of room here. So you could actually put something there. As a sort of a talk spot. But something simple. Did not ink it either. Yes, my, my hands were itching, but I didn't. I absolutely love this one. It's a belly band with a lady. And then another card behind here. Again, no inking. Well, I did not ink the belly band. Should have, but I didn't. And then um, a side loading pocket with the lady. And I found the same lady in a different dress. So with two cards in here that you can journal on if you are a journaler. Second signature. Lovely lady. Yes. Big pocket. I really like this sort of die cut here. Yes, so I put this on. And a piece of washi tape behind here to cover up the white. Uh, a big pocket. And then I stamped one of the stamps. Because I thought it was just cool. Yes, clipped on a card here with a paper clip. 
a pocket here that I decorated with a fountain. I had a card with a fountain and a card with a this. So there you go. Yes. And on the top loading pocket, made another um, tag from this paper and put on the same lady. Did not even realize I put on the same lady until I put it in. And I was like, oh my gosh, same lady. Okay. Oh my God. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like it. It's a belly band with lace. And then I put this on and another frame in the back. <laughs> I just liked it. There you go. This is the center spread. I was going to leave it sort of blank. But then I had some pieces left. So I made a pocket here and then this here. And I actually wanted to do some decoupage. Take out a lovely napkin. But honestly, guys, I've been working on this for hours. So imagine just, you know, decoupage. <laughs> yes, there you go. Another pocket uh, decorated with the hollyhock. And then two lovely cards. What do we have here? Another one of these torn... Um, uh, pages this is also a tuck spot pocket here made a lovely tall card and then these ones they were too big to put in so i simply folded them in yes rounded corners inked all around them so you can have sort of a uh, folded uh, journal spots cool very yes and another piece of this decoration another stamp my skipping one this is a tuck spot you can put something in here and another top loading pocket with some decorating. And then small pocket here with a card and two lovely cards in the back. And this was made, of course, from uh, the tissue box itself. So cute. I think I will name the journal Darlene because it's darling and she looks like a Darlene, right? Yeah. Guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I've made this cutesy, but take out a tissue box and make it uh, grungy. Do anything. Yeah, it is a real fun process though. Really liked it. Okay, I'll be back again this Friday with the last um, episode of Junky June. So... Can anyone guess what I'm using? Well, your guess is as good as mine because I don't know yet. I have loads of junk left. Let's see what I can find and what I can come up with. So I'm hoping to see you Friday. Until then, bye guys.